Hello brothers and sisters in Christ, welcome to this program. Uh, my name is Orega. I am planning to do Bible study uh, in the book of Revelation. I hope God will help me and we will we'll, uh, go deep uh, dive into the Word of God and learn from um, you know uh, from his word. Uh, I believe um, that uh, it is time to study for us uh, the the Word of God to understand the message which are uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the book of Revelation as a matter of fact in all parts of the Bible because the book of Revelation by itself is not we cannot say it is a complete book it's not a complete book because uh, it is uh, it it just uh, even has a message from the Old Testament, from the New Testament, from the Gospels, and from many parts of the the Bible. So we will uh, learn, and uh, I hope you will be uh, energized, uh, uh, you know, and uh, learn from it and uh, gain a whole lot of knowledge, a golden nugget of uh, Word of God from the Book of Revelation. First, let me pray. And let me read uh, one part of the uh, from uh, one portion from uh, chapter one, Revelation chapter one, and then pray and then start the program. Uh, blessed is blessed is he that reads and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keeps of things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Revelation one, uh, chapter one, verse three. Let's let's pray. Lord God Almighty, thank you for the opportunity, thank you for the time and the uh, technology which you gave us uh, so that we can learn together from your word. Help us open our spiritual eyes. It is very, very difficult to understand, uh, read and understand um, the, 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 the Bible, the book of Revelation without your spirit. Lord, let your spirit lead us, help us, guide us, uh, let the unction be upon us so that we can learn and understand and benefit from it. Lord, help us in everything as we start uh, in the, the, the big journey in, in this book. In the name of Christ Jesus, Amen. So um, the reason I choose this verse is uh, I believe that uh, the, the theme the whole theme of the, 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 the Revelation, the book of Revelation, or the thesis of the book of Revelation is chapter 1, verse 3. Uh, uh, God wants us to read his word. God wants, our, uh, wants us to hear from his word, the word of the prophecy. And, and then by learning, by hearing, by reading, and by learning, then we keep those things which are written there. Because uh, it is the time is at hand, and that means the end is coming, the end is coming near. So that that's what he wants us. Uh, the beast and that and uh, the dragon and uh, you know all that thing which people say it is uh, frightening, and they don't. Some some of the people say uh, uh, say that they they don't read uh, the book of Revelation because it is very complicated. And it doesn't give them meaning, and it is it frightens them that the things which are you know in in that the, the things which are going on there and uh, get causes them to fear. But you know um, true love uh, uh, you know eradicates fear. Uh, once we learn from God, uh, we love Him, and then He because He loves us, He loves us, He loves us. Once we learn from Him there will not be any fear. Rather, we will learn, we will be enlightened by the Word of God. And we will know, we will learn a lot of things from it. Um, so, before we study, uh, we start the study uh, uh, from the book of Revelation, I have uh, five basic principles, which I say, I say uh, um, which I think, uh, uh, fundamental principles of Bible study 
so these are like the, the the principles which we we are going to follow when while we are going to study the bible the the bible or especially the book of revelation the first one is the bible in its entire in its uh, original language is inspired of word of god this is the the the, the you know the the big message that this is the word the bible is the word of god it is the word of god it is an inspired word of god it is not the word of man it is not from man but from god by uh, it came from 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 god this is that you know the the main thing we should we should we should put into our mind we should always think about that uh, let me read uh, which supports this um, uh, you know um, this statement for he whom God has sent speaks the words of God for God gives not the spirit by measure unto him Jeremiah 334 in the book of Jeremiah um, Jeremiah tells us that God sent his uh, you know someone when God sends someone he sends him through the spirit God sends a message to that person through the Spirit of God. So that message is not from that man, but rather from God. Uh, you know, when we read the book, uh, especially and, and the prophets, um, Isaiah, for example, that says the Lord, that says the Lord, that says the Lord, here and there, we, we read that. And uh, uh, that means... Isaiah or the prophet, any prophet is telling us it's not from him, but it is from God through, through the Spirit. And the second verse is, um, the second part is, For the prophecy came not in all time by the will of man. The prophecy, or that's the message in the Bible, the message in the Bible, from the Bible, it didn't come by man. It is not the will of man. Man did not fabricate it, but holy men of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Ghost or by the Holy Spirit. They spoke it as they were moved by the Spirit of God, the Spirit of God. Second Peter 1.21. So what happens is, what it tells us is those in the old time, in, in the time, in the old time, like in the time of Moses, Abraham, Jacob, and, and the kings, and David, and the prophets, thus the message, it came from the Lord God, and the Lord God, through the Spirit of God, moved those people, and they penned down the word of God to us. So this is, you know... Um, this is what God tells us. This is God, what God tells us. This is like, uh, uh, the, 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 you know, the fundamental, one of the fundamental things that God spoke to us through the Spirit of God. The holy men were moved by the Spirit of God. A second the Bible is the word of God from which we learn about God and the things of God and get inspired by it. So this, it is the word of God and then it came to us and it, it, in, it inspires us. All the scripture is given by the inspiration of God. All the scripture, all the scripture in the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, all Every word is inspired, God breathed. All the scripture is uh, given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction and in righteousness. So we learn righteousness. Righteousness is a righteousness which came, which comes from God. We, we learn that from God, uh, from the Word of God. So, all the scripture is God breathed and it is profitable for us. A doctrine of God, the doctrine, the doctrine of 
you know, um, theology, the, 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 the teaching of God, and the reproof. It reproves us, and then it uh, correction. It corrects us. We always make mistake. But as we learn, as we grow, as we grow in in the grace and the word of God, we uh, bec we mature. We become mature for instruction in teaching and righteousness and the things of right righteousness. It says this is. Uh, I took it from Second Timothy, chapter uh, three. Uh, 16. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16. Third, uh, true faith in God comes only from the word of God. So faith, the relationship, faith is the, the, which is the substance which help us to connect, connect us with God. That's, for example, you know, it's like a Wi-Fi. It's a Wi-Fi which connects us with God, with God. And it comes through the word of God. Nobody can co communicate with God without the word of God. It's only from the word of God. The Bible says, So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Faith, true faith, which connects us with God, which helps us to communicate with God, it comes through the word of God. As we learn, the faith grows, faith grows. As we learn day by day, you know, uh, year by year, it grows. The faith, the knowing God, knowing the things of God, grows. And we become spiritual, spiritual, more spiritual as we uh, 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 read uh, the word of God. So we are going to interpret the book of uh, Revelation uh, in, in, in this way, in this way, we will benefit from it. And the fourth one is the Bible is written based on the principles of here a little and there a little that we must know. This is the most important principle of Bible study. This is, this is I can say, the number one principle uh, in, of Bible study. Uh, because this is the one which help us to grasp the things of God. And um, it says, the Bible is written based on the principle of here a little and there a little. What, are, what do I mean when I say that? Let me, uh, let me read the Bible and then it gives us uh, what it means. But the word of God, word of the Lord, that's uh, Jehovah, the Lord, capital L, we'll see that, was uh, unto them Precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little, that they might go and fall backward and be broken and snared and taken. Isaiah 28, 30. What did he say? But the word of the Lord was unto them, precept upon precept, precept upon precept, Lion upon lion, lion upon lion, here a little and there a little. That they might go and fall backward and be snared and be uh, and uh, 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 broken and snared and taken. This is, uh, it has negative connotation, uh, negative meaning, because people do not pay attention. What does it mean? The Bible is telling us, God is warning us, uh, it says a predict predicament that if you don't follow this principle, you will fall down, you will be snared, you will fall backward, because you know people take uh, some part of the Bible and then they say that says the Lord, but that's not. We can't do that. The Bible says it is written here a little and there a little. Something in Genesis. Something in uh, Isaiah, something in uh, the book of Psalms, something in Proverbs, and something in the Gospels. And then we have to put together and get the real meaning. And in other ways, we compare spiritual things with spiritual things and learn from them. You cannot learn only from some, uh, for example, from Revelation. If you take Revelation and try to study by yourself, you will never learn something. 
unless you compare and contract contrast unless you go to uh, the, the the genesis um, exodus and then other parts of the bible so it is written here a little and there a little so in the book of revelation we will pick up the, the some 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 concept there and then compare and contrast to other parts of the bible and learn from there so that you know we understand what god wants us to understand uh, by learning from there and then the final part is the bible uses uh, parables symbolic language and so on to portray the message of god so god uses for example in the book of proverbs we'll see it in the near future uh, god willing uh, the book of proverbs is, is a parable full of parable and the gospels the Gospels, so not only the Gospels, but also all other parts of the Bible is full of parables. Some of, the, some of them have literal meaning, some of them have symbolic meaning. We have to search for that and then learn from and then understand what God wants us to understand from that part or portion of the Bible. So it is, uh, it uses parable. Uh, and um, but without a parable spake he not unto them i'm sorry i'm using the king james ver version that's what this uh, the old uh, this is like a spoke uh, so uh, we'll, we'll see it we'll see it's not difficult but the reason uh, i'm going to explain to you uh, the reason why i'm using the king james version um, but without a parable spake he not unto them and when they were alone he expounded all things to his disciples mark the book of the gospel of mark 4 34 so jesus spoke unto them a parable that means the, there should be uh, we have to go deep in to find the spiritual meaning when a parable with a symbolic thing, when God gives us a, a, a teaching, impart us a, a teaching, what is the message behind that? What's the message behind that? We have to ask that and go deep into it and find the, the real message of the, the gospel uh, from, from, from that part. So these are like five. But there are not five. There are so many. But we will, you know, this can help us to, to just you know to uh, make a start to, to to jump start and once we start there we will uh, uh, check other principles we'll go deep into other uh, principles uh, the tool where are where are we going to study this one well um, the 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 place is called uh, blue uh, okay blue letters blue letter Bible blueletterbible.org and uh, the, you have like uh, there are other versions but I use the King James version because the reason is I can get the, the Hebrew and the, the, the Hebrew and the, the you know Aramaic or 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 the Greek and uh, try to find the original meaning when you compare the spiritual uh, you know uh, b biblical words uh, from other parts of the bible when the word is fine for example and in this one um uh, let me uh let me uh for example here uh in the book of revelation there is uh, the strongest number i click the the strongest and then uh read click tools and then I have here uh, Apocalypse, Jesu Christu, and uh, uh, it says, uh, so the, the, the book of Revelation of Jesus Christ with the Hebrew, uh, with the Greek rather, with the Greek word. And then if I go to uh, Genesis, if I go to Genesis, uh, Genesis chapter one, uh, for example, uh, we have here uh, the, the English one, uh, and then uh, we can search word by word like, for example it gives us h that's hebrew god uh, i click that and it gives us uh, uh elohim and then it reads us uh, strong's h 430 the one eloah eloah is that the um, eloah 
second entry Elohim yeah so Elohim the two white white the third two, entry oh sorry Eloah Eloah uh, why three why two because it has um, uh, Old Testament we use the, the the Hebrew and the Aramic Elohim is the the the, the Hebrew and then Eloha is uh, is is uh, the the Aramic Aramic and then uh, we can study that way and find out what it is and also we find we click this one and uh, um, you know um, read the, the the Hebrew word Bereshit bara Elohim et Hashemayim et Haaret. We have here what the the English one, and then the Hebrew we uh, chapter one one we find here. Uh, so we have the Hebrew and then the Greek. That's uh, the main reason I am interested in using the King James Bible. And um, you will learn it. I am. I hope you will learn it, and uh, you will. Uh, you will. You will going to love it. You are going to love it, because it is very, 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 um, uh, very indispensable tool to study the Word of God. Um, um, yeah, that's it. Um, uh, so next time we are going to start uh, from the Book of Revelation. Um, uh, if you have any question, you can uh, write uh, under the video or you can email me. Until then, may the Lord richly bless you. Until we meet another time, have a blessed time.